field, having all sorts of trouble scoring points, kind of a big problem. End up yes. losing to Ryder tonight at home. That's big Matt Lopez going straight to the basket. He was Ryder's leading scorer with 14. Offensively, Stag's not able to do much. Here off the turnover, Ryder Zedrick Sadler takes it all the way in for the lay-in. Plus, he's fouled on the play. Still, if the Stags could just score, they'd be in the game. But they go about nine and a half minutes in the first half without so much as a free throw, like 10 oh. minutes without one point. You're not going to win many games. You, like yeah, you'd have to go to California to find a worse drought. Stags <laughs> can't overcome this first half where they score just 13 points. End up losing the game. Final score, 62-46. So the Stags having s trouble scoring. Really, outside of Yale, including UConn, right. the Division I men's basketball teams in the state have been a little disappointing this year. Yeah, kind of waiting for some of these teams to get going. Yeah. Hartford was supposed to be pretty good. They have a lot of senior leadership there. They haven't hit their stride. You know, uh, Sacred Heart playing okay. They got a mixture of veteran uh, leadership and young talent. But UConn's the big one, uh, waiting for them to finally, you know, Maybe, come around. Maybe and, that and, win over Florida will vault them into some of the Florida and, struggling as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and you mentioned Yale. You know what, James Jones has done it again. A tough non-conference schedule as they get ready for Ivy League play. And who knows, they could be the uh, NCAA team this year. You never know.